Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can configure your System Manager or Session Manager 6.2 with your Network Management Station using SNMP v2 and SNMP v3. Before we begin, let's look at a few key points about the Serviceability Agent. With System Manager and Session Manager 6.2, you can configure the Serviceability Agent to send SNMP v2c or SNMP v3 traps to your NMS, define and attach an SNMP v3 user for management operations with your NMS. All configuration is done via the System Manager 6.2 web interface. Here you can create SNMP v3 users, define target profiles, also known as NMS destinations, of where you would like your serviceability agent to send the SNMP traps to, and here's where you will also assign the target profiles and SNMPv3 users that you create to your System Manager and your Session Manager 6.2. Also, System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 support both SNMPv2C and SNMPv3 for trap generation. However, only support SNMPv3 for get, set, SNMP management operations. For this how-to, I will create an SNMPv2 target profile for trap receipt and an SNMPv3 user for management operations so that I can demonstrate both. We'll begin by logging into our system manager with the admin user account or any user with admin level privileges. I'll go ahead and provide my credentials then press log on. Next, under elements, we're going to want to go ahead and click on the inventory link. So let's do that. From here on the left we want to go ahead and expand Manage Serviceability Agents. Now, as you can see here, we have three options. We have SNMP v3 user profiles, SNMP target profiles, both of which we will configure. However, let's first check that our agents are in fact active by clicking on Serviceability Agents. And as you can see here, I have two session managers and one system manager, both of which are all active. We'll begin by clicking on SNMP v3 user profiles so that we can create our user. We'll click New. Next, we'll provide our user details. We'll start with the username. Next, we'll select an authentication protocol between MD5 or SHA. We'll go ahead and enter the authentication password, then confirm that. Next, we'll select a privacy protocol. Again, we have the choices between AES or DES. And once more, we'll go ahead and provide the privacy password, and then go ahead and confirm that password. Now last but not least, we want to go ahead and select the privilege. Now because we're going to use this user for both get and set operations, we want to make sure that this user has read-write permissions. I'll go ahead and select that. I'll then press commit. And as you can see, my user has now been created. Next, we'll click on SNMP target profiles so that we can create an entry for our NMS. We'll do that by first clicking on new. Now here, we're going to go ahead and provide all of the details to our NMS. We'll start by giving it a name. So I'll go ahead and enter HP OpenView here for my example. I'll then provide a brief description of my NMS server. Next, I'll go ahead and enter the IP address. Now you're also going to want to confirm your port. And one more important piece, you want to make sure that you change the protocol type from v3 to v2 and make sure that your community string matches that of what you have configured on your NMS. We'll go ahead and click commit and as you can see we now have an entry for our NMS server. Okay now that we've created our user and our target profile the final step is to push this information down to our agents. We'll do that by clicking on the serviceability agents link. We'll then need to select the agents that we want to attach this to I'll go ahead and select all of mine by pressing the checkbox above here. I'll then click on Manage Profiles. From here, I'll click on the SNMP Target Profiles tab. And you can see here, under Assignable Profiles, we have the target profile that we've created. I'll go ahead and click on that, then press Assign. Now, if by mistake you didn't assign the correct one, you could expand the removable profiles link and remove that profile. 
Next, we're going to want to go ahead and click on the SNMPB3 user profiles. And just like before, we're going to want to go ahead and click on the user that we've created. Then go ahead and press Assign. And just like before, again, if you made a mistake, you can remove the profile by expanding the Removable Profiles link. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and press Commit. And that's all it takes. You've now pushed down a target profile with your NMS destination to your system manager and your session manager, as well as a V3 user that you can now use your NMS to perform SNMP management operations on your system. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.